Hi everyone. I uh, realised I didn't do a um, update video, any kind of update, um, since I had my consultation in like the middle of last month with Mr. Christopher. Um, so here it is. I thought I just wanted to um, meet with him before I had stage two, um, just discuss a couple of things um, I was a bit unsure about. Um, first off, I wanted to see if there was anything that could be done like fat transplantation. Um, to like add girth to my phallus because um, it's a little bit on the skinny side because my arms are on the skinny side. Um, I did put on like weight before my surgery, not loads, but um, either way, the way I put weight on is similar to the way my mum puts weight on and it all just kind of goes to like the legs in the middle rather than the arms. So if I had put on loads of weight anyway, odds are it wouldn't have gone to my arms anyway, um, so it wouldn't have made a difference. Um, so yeah, I asked him if there was anything that could be done about that and he said there wasn't, um, you know, it's just something that you have to deal with. Um, and then I sort of asked if the erectile device adds any girth and he said that it doesn't, but um, I've got something in my eye, but by looking at like other guys results I think that like it does add like about half an inch um, which is like which I'd be happy with that anyway so I think I don't know maybe he just said that so I didn't get my hopes up about it or whatever I don't know but I think it does like from what I've seen anyway um, what was the other thing oh yeah Ugh. Uh, the other thing was that I didn't know whether I wanted to have my old equipment uh, buried um, when I have my ball sack made um, because basically at the moment I'm four months post op and I don't have any sensation whatsoever in my phallus um, and I didn't want to bury my old stuff if I didn't get any sensation because then it would be a bit, you know, I wouldn't have the ability to get off. Well, I wouldn't not have the ability, but it'd be harder. Um, so he said, we'll just wait and see. And I've got another consultation with him in April. So that'll bring me to six months. So fingers crossed by then I'll have something. And that'll be, that'll help me make my decision. Because in reality, I want it all gone. Um, I don't want to see it. But I don't want to be in a position where I can't feel anything. And I'm stuck being sexually frustrated. Um, so yeah. Um, I had like a bit of a chat with him about all that. It was quite quick really. But he um, yeah, had a look at my phallus. That it's healed really well. The only thing is that it's slightly tethered at the bottom. Which has caused it to twist. So my um, urethra hole. Instead of being like that. Is kind of like that. Um, so when they sort of untether it. It will go back to straight. Um, he said, I'm happy with everything. Um, the way it flushes through is fine. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so it wasn't much to say. So everyone, please pray that I get sensation in my phallus. Um, I know it's still early days, but it's just frustrating. Because like, loads of other people that I've talked to said they've got it within 12 weeks or at least by four months. And I'm four months now and I'm just like, I've got nothing. But then they say between four and six months. And then when I saw Mr. Christie, he's like, oh, well, you've got two years. But like, I don't want to wait two years to have like the next stage. So I'll just wait until April and then see what happens. Um, so yeah, not much that can be done. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It was quite a, quite a quick appointment, actually. I was only in there for like 10 minutes or so. Um, but yeah.